Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to show you one more thing about the configuration manager. So if you go over here under the configuration manager and you let's go ahead and create a new configuration since we don't have one over here and I'm going to call it no fillets. OK, and then I'm going to come down here and change the document to configuration and then come down here and you're going to see a parent child option. So I'm going to show you what that is and when to use that. Now, say you have a component or an assembly that has many, many fillets or many features that you just don't want to show. For example, this part, this screw and this thread right here, you don't need to be showing that. Uh, fillets, a lot of these fillets, you don't need to be showing that. If it's a big assembly I'm talking about, not a small assembly like this, but I'm talking about a big assembly that has many, many screws with many threads in them and all these things, uh, you definitely want to find some kind of way to get rid of some of these features and or to suppress them in another configuration. So a way to do this is to come over here under the add configuration. And remember, only when you're adding a new configuration can you see this parent child option. Now, when you expand this, this will actually tell you which ones do you want to work on, which ones do you want to focus on suppressing in this configuration. So one of them is say, let's go ahead and select the base plates. I want to take out all the fillets from these base plates. Now, if you select base assembly, you got to expand this box because it, ex it, it uh, selects the assembly, but it doesn't select the brackets. So you want to make sure that the brackets are part of that assembly. OK, so you can expand that or you can try to do if you want the front assembly, but you want to select the front assembly and also all the brackets that are part of it as well. OK, but for right now, I'm not going to select the I'm not going to select this one. I'm just going to focus on the base plate. So let's go ahead and focus on the base plate. So but this would work if you have multiple things that you want to take out the fillets for. But for right now, I'm just going to take out all these little fillets around these brackets that I don't want to show. You know, say it uh, slows down my computer or especially for big assemblies, it becomes uh, cu cu uh, cumbersome. So let's go ahead and click on OK over here. Remember, we selected the base plate with the components for the base plate. Let's go ahead and click on OK. All right. So now I got a new configuration that is called no fillet. Now, if I left click on if i double click on it you have a highlight if i go back to the default now the default is uh, turned on let's go back to my no fill it and go to my uh, my assembly over here and let's go ahead and open up the base assembly and let's open up both brackets so i got the brackets over here and i'm gonna go ahead and suppress this all these fillets over here as you can see that all the fillets are suppressed and then i'm gonna open up the other bracket this is this is the same one. There's a bracket number three and also suppress all the fillets for that. OK, so now if I go back to my uh, configuration manager and go back to my default, you're going to see that the default one has all the fillets there. But the no fillet one takes out all the fillets. You know, a very useful thing, like I said, is in large assemblies. That is when it's best used is to try to take out all the little fillets that take out a lot of memory when you're opening them up. So I would also do that for this uh, screw threads right here. Anytime you have threads in anything, anytime you have complex cuts, extrude cuts, for example, this one that is swept, um, you know, for a screw that you know takes a lot of memory, uh, that's when this feature is very useful because you can come down here and take out all these little things that make your part move slowly. And all you have to do is switch configurations and all of a sudden you can move your part much faster. So that's how you use the child parent option.